Awesome. Thank you, Alan. Hi, guys. My name is Charlie Beckwith, and I'm with Symbol.ai. We're super excited to be sponsoring this year's event, and uh, we're excited to show you our comprehensive suite of conversational intelligence APIs that make adding AI to your application easier than you could probably imagine. So let's get started. Um, oh, if you have any questions, you can tweet me um, at Charlie Beckwith. Um, we're going to be posting uh, videos all week, uh, along with uh, other like how tos and um, other content. So, let's get started. Um, so, probably wondering if you haven't looked into us, what is Symbol exactly? What is conversational intelligence? Um, if you're familiar with uh, familiar with um, like Siri or uh, like, uh, Amazon Echo, it kind of takes that to the next level. Um, it allows you to analyze either real-time or post-processed video or audio um, and uh, analyze that conversation and pull out important details from it that make, uh, that can help you improve your uh, sales pipeline or automation. Um, really, the, the use cases are uh, pretty much uh, limitless because it is just an API. And what it's doing is just understanding natural human uh, flowing conversation. So, just going. Um, so there's a few ways that uh, we can uh, ingest your conversation data. Uh, the first is through a telephony connection, and you can do this by dialing in via SIP or PSTN. And so uh, we could literally add it to this call right now, and it could be listening to me and picking up. Uh, details that I'm, you know, speaking in conversation right now. Um, we can also use WebSockets API, or uh, we can also use a WebSockets um, interface. And um, with this, we have a universal adapter that uh, works with uh, Twilio, Chime, uh, Amazon Chime SDK, Agora, um, just uh, like pretty much uh, every single platform that we've tried it with. So um, this is 100% web-based. Uh, it is one of the best uh, interfaces for complete diarization, um, and it is again you have real time. And then we have uh, async APIs that allow you to post-process pre-recorded audio or video. So if you were at a call center, for instance, and you were recording one of your um, like sales reps, uh, you know. Uh, uh, like, and you want to make sure they're hitting every note, you could uh, take a pre-recorded conversation and then uh, have it analyzed and get a, uh, a full, you know, a, a full feedback of what was, uh, you know, what kind of happened during that, that call. And then also we are able to like um, ingest email and chat and transcripts. And what's more is you can actually uh, do all of these things in, you know, kind of like tandem. So if, uh, if you like start off with a conversation that, you know, is, is on email and it moves over to a call, you can actually append the conversation using our APIs so that uh, the data still stays in one place. So I, I went over uh, conversational analysis, but I didn't actually uh, touch on what exactly we're generating here um, and what you're going to be getting out of Symbol. And so to that now, um, there are contextual summary topics that exist during a conversation. So as you know, um, you're speaking with another person or three or four other people. Um, there are different topics that come up in uh, conversation, right? And we actually pull those out in a hierarchical way. So we're able to, you know, determine that Charlie's talking about symbol and he's uh, at Tad Hack or he's, you know, talking to Tad Hacks and this is all, you know, part of that conversation. And so um, I'll get you an image of that in a second. Uh, we also pull out action items. So that's something like where you might say, um, I will, uh, I will like do this thing, like, or I will, uh, uh, no, I, like, I, I need to, I need to go do this thing, or I, I need to uh, present it for TEDx at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and uh, questions as well. 
So if there are any questions that come up, we're able to um, extract that, you know, that, that insight and pull that out so that you can uh, then, you know, decide what to do with the um, resulting information. Uh, each insight points back to the message at which it was, uh, you know, that it was, uh, that the insight was generated from. So you can then pull, like, you can then pull um, other uh, you know, messages to kind of fulfill that. So you could actually get um, answers to those questions. So you can kind of think of like a, a school scenario here where um, maybe not for, for a hackathon, but where uh, you'd be asking a, a question, or students might be asking a question and a teacher's answering it and you'd be able to actually detect that a question was answered, not just what the question was, but then you know, figure out a way to actually deliver on that. We also uh, detect follow-ups, which are, uh, like if you said that you um, will do something, um, action phrases, um, real-time transcription, which I, I touched upon in the previous slide, um, going over APIs. So um, that's real-time closed captioning. Uh, speaker diarization, which is uh, the ability to split up uh, who is talking when, and external speaker events, which allow you to kind of trigger um, different uh, things. And then we also have topic-based sentiments, which uh, we're releasing soon. It's in our, our pipeline. Um, it's not available today. Probably won't be used in this hackathon, as well as conversational analytics. So right now. Uh, you can just imagine for conversational analytics where that kind of would, where that role would play in um, any kind of a, a business setting um, or really anywhere. So be able to detect who is talking when, how much time they spent talking, if there was any overlap, like if somebody was interrupting somebody else, if the, if, um, if uh, like a sales agent was talking over somebody and as, as well as silence. But again, those aren't available today, but it's something to look forward from us in the future. After, uh, after you're done uh, post-processing or you know, recording a real-time conversation, we have a pretty robust uh, video summary UI. And on the left here, you can see, uh, you can see that we have our topics for the conversation. Um, the ones that are more blue are, are you know, like a deeper uh, hue of blue, um, and more saturated, uh, are topics that were more frequently visited during that call. Um, so any anytime you click one of those on the left, it would uh, bring you down to uh, the places in the conversation where that topic had been mentioned. And it's, it's context-based, so it's not just, it's not just, you know, dependent on the word. On the right, you can see some of our action items where uh, you look at the top there um, on the upper right hand corner. Uh, Mike Suster uh, says that he's going to take the person we think is the best fit and believes in our mission. And it pops right over to that moment in the transcript. So it just jumps to it. It's almost like a little like bookmark and the video starts playing from that moment, uh, from the moment that that action item was generated. So this is also another way to navigate, you know, through uh, through a call without having to actually scrub through the entire thing, or only, you know, visit the relevant uh, part that you're you're trying to you're trying to analyze. We also have um, a, a library of symbol of, of elements um, that has not been released yet, but will be released pretty soon. So uh, we'll see if it uh, we'll see if it we can get it out for TEDx, but. Uh, be on the lookout for a how-to and a uh, page from us uh, linked to our GitHub repo. So how exactly does it work? Um, we, as I've kind of already gone over, we've got, uh, we take in any kind of voice, video, or text from any channel, and using our REST APIs, symbol then uh, will process that voice video or text and then generate your insights, action items, transcripts, then that you are then able to, uh, you know, do whatever you may will with. So you can integrate, uh, so symbol doesn't like integrate with 
uh, Slack or Jira or Zapier um, out of the box, but you can you know, use those APIs and the insights that are generated to then create some kind of an automation uh, pipeline or workflow. So um, during an internal hackathon, uh, actually uh, last month, myself and another one of Symbol's engineers created an application that uh, sat in the background and um, with, while you were on a Zoom call and actually creates JIRA tickets uh, like as you're, as we were talking, as we were just like having natural conversation. So um, we'd notice that, you know, if, if a certain phrase was, was spoken that, um, it would then fire off uh, a request to create a new JIRA ticket using the Insight assignee. So, I mean, the, the ways that you can use Insights are, are really, you know, the ways that you choose to digest it uh, after we ingest it are, uh, you know, pretty much limitless. Um, so don't, don't think that uh, uh, over here, this is something that you, you have to stick into that, stay in that box. So to get started, um, you can head over to our homepage at symbol.ai. You can sign up there. Uh, right now, there's no credit card required uh, at all. So you just need to enter your name, email address, and password, and we'll give you uh, we'll give you uh, at least uh, 100 free minutes and a thousand free words. But um, by tad hacks, email us tadhack at symbol.ai and we can uh, boost that trial period. So you have a little bit more wiggle room to play around with symbols, APIs. Um, you just need to retrieve your API credentials then after uh, creating your account and logging into the platform and copying those app ID and secrets over to our Postman collection. So if you head over to our documentation from the homepage under the resources panel, you'll be brought to um, you know, our documentation. And from there, we actually have a Postman collection that it includes just about every single one of our APIs and is the quickest way to get started playing around with symbols uh, with symbol. So you could actually, uh, in the time that I've uh, spent talking about this, uh, you could have uh, signed up and uh, already started running the Postman collection. Um, if you're not familiar with Postman, I, I couldn't recommend it more uh, because it is ex extremely useful. It allows you to make REST uh, API calls from a uh, from like an application, so you're not having to make curl requests. And um, after after one request is done, it can save like environment variables, and those environment variables can be used in future uh, REST API calls. So um, for real, if uh, it's it's incredibly useful. I, I, I could not recommend it more um, to any developer. So again, yeah, you can see on the right here, um, I have uh, the Postman collection up and running. Um, I can actually uh, call my phone directly using the telephony API from Postman, um, which can then start recording um, conversation from my phone. Um, which can then, you know, like start generating topics immediate, starts generating topics immediately. And you can do this as well, just, you know, again, directly from either this application or I believe they also have a web interface. So um, you don't even maybe need to download anything, but the Postman collection is, is still the um, easiest way to get started playing around with everything that Symbol has to offer. We also have um, some GitHub repos. Uh, so if you head to github.com slash symbol AI, you can see uh, we have some sample applications for uh, three of the most popular video chat uh, SDKs out there, Twilio, Amazon Chime, and Agora. And on the right here, you can see a demo application that I actually built um, for Chime SDK. And on the left, you can see uh, the transcripts, as well as each um, insight type that uh, currently is being generated. So I have a, a follow-up action item and uh, a question over there on the left side, and all of that, um, all of those transcripts were pulled out of the conversation directly, uh, not typed in. 
and then um, underneath the picture there, you can see uh, you can see a uh, a like, subtitle or closed captioning. So we're adding real time transcription to video in in a way that is is uh, you can get up you can get up and running within uh, thirty minutes. Uh, and that that page I showed you a little while ago, um, that, that summary UI, um, where you're able to click around and you know kind of navigate through um, a video or audio call. It doesn't have to be video. Um, I've added a, a button there that allows you to to retrieve our summary our URL, which you can get through our experiences API. So I'm not sure how long that was. I didn't time myself exactly, but I'd like to thank you for um, staying with me and listening. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, you don't hesitate to shoot there, you know, ask. Um, and yeah, we uh, look forward to, to working with you guys and, and seeing what we all build together. Excellent. 